Sim Nation. What's good? It's your boy Q here, bringing y'all some NBA 2K19, my career slash part gameplay. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm a my career player because I'm not. I am by no means of the imagination a my career player, but the part and Jordan Red are really really fun this year. So I might do a moderate dose of that type of content on my channel because hey it's fun and people like to see it so um you see here i'm in the gym working on my difficult shots badge i do have a five foot ten um shot creating playmaker i think no no playmaking shot creator and the dude is pretty nice i think i have all at this point i have all my ratings maxed out i'm at 87 overall right now um midi is like a 92 three is like an 80 but I have Kimball Walker shot, and that's a shot I've been practicing a lot offline, as y'all have seen in my last video. So, uh, the release is pretty easy. I can get a moderate dose of greens with it. But, um, this right here is some gameplay. I'm playing red ball, blue ball. This is my first time playing that. I had no idea what was going on, so I'm just kind of running around aimlessly until I figured it out. But, um, in the neighborhood, I like these little mini games. You know, it gives a gives the neighborhood a breath of fresh air i always miss dodgeball i have not played dodgeball yet because the first time i was going to play it like it didn't work actually this was the video right here i didn't even include the clips but we were trying to play dodgeball and the timer started and then the balls didn't spawn so we had to wait until that night or the next day to play again and i wasn't even really about that but red ball blue ball it was i mean it's okay and you just grab the balls and then you run to your rim and score before the other team gets all their balls. So, um, I mean, it was alright. I probably won't play it again because it was just kind of running around and pointless. There was no sense of competition, I guess. But it was alright. I mean, these type of little mini games breathe the fresh air, brings the community together or the neighborhood together and stuff. So, it was whatever. But yeah, after the game, I was running around and, um, my brother was in the neighborhood with me. He was like, dog, who is this with this star? And I was like, what star? So I looked at who's online. I was like, I don't know, like Cactus Jack. It sounded familiar. And then all of a sudden, we looked at him. We was like, yo, is that who we think it is? No, nah, that can't be. Is that really? Dog, it's Travis Scott. We were in the neighborhood with Travis Scott, bro. I was like no way that's crazy so of course we started chasing after this man all over the neighborhood he's doing running around doing all types of crazy stuff you know but you know travis scott is like one of my favorite artists he's like top two for me right now i love his music you know he makes really good music and like i said in my last video Astro World is the album of the year sorry nikki it just is but we were following this man around the park uh he's in the the training facility i don't know why getting these reps up running these sprints or whatever he was like oh man like this is crazy man this is travis scott then i had a guy like message me he was like yo who is cactus jack and i was like oh it's travis scott bro he was like oh my god so everybody's running around the park chasing this man around and um it was a cool thing i really highly doubt it was actually travis scott that was on his playstation playing this but it's probably somebody at 2k that was controlling his avatar but he hopped on for some two on two and i was going to really try to hop on the guy next spot but somebody else was faster than me to the push so um yeah i didn't get the gameplay alongside travis scott that would have been fire but i didn't get that but you see he in there hitting them folks dancing yeah 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 uh uh yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. Travis Scott was in the park dancing and acting a fool. So that was kind of a cool experience. I never had anything happen like that. You see me and my little brother got the selfie with him. You know, and then we hopped right into this park gameplay. Me and my homies, shout out Wiz, shout out Similar, got in the park and played a couple games. You know what I'm saying? We were undefeated uh, for the most part until we played my little brother. And then they had a pure glass on their team. Man, a pure glass in the park is unstoppable. So, if you run into parks with some homies, make sure one of y'all got a pure glass. Because he's going to get every single rebound. 
and I'm talking every single rebound. So, pure glass in the park is unstoppable. As we get right into this park gameplay, man, and I'm gonna tell you right now, man, if you're running parks, the park is really, really fun when you're playing with people that you know. You know, you got you know two other teammates, and you hop on the park, man, like. It's nothing but highlight after highlight after highlight. And you're going to see in this gameplay, man, we go to... Really, we played this team like four times because the park was empty. They kept running back and we just kept smacking them. But this first game was just really, really ugly. Um, we beat them like pretty handily. Ooh, look at this crossover. Give me those ankles. Uh get to the cup with a dunk there yeah my dude's 510 but he got the yams i think my verticals are 75 and i think my dunking rating's like a 72 so i can't get the crazy packages but the packages are nice enough to where if you see me take off the dunks just look better because i'm shorter you know what i'm saying like it just is what it is we out here playing lockdown defense getting out on the break similar finds me i come through you know i'm lobbing that up you feel me like me i'm i'm throwing all the lobs i'm throwing all the no look passes you know what i'm saying this is what i do in the park man like if you open with me you gonna catch a lob just run to the basket i'm gonna find you that's in the wreck that's in park anywhere bro just run to the basket i'm gonna lob it up and you gonna catch it you know simple as that but um, we out here on defense. I think they do hit this jumper right here, make it 6-2 or whatever. They were, this team was pretty trash. I mean, they had highly rated players, I think. But they were trash. You could tell they didn't play together. You see, I'm lobbing it up again. Bro, I'm telling you. Just run to the hoop, bro. I'm lobbing it. But I can shoot too, you know what I mean? You can't just leave your boy open. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sagging off like, like I'm not going to cash out. You know what I mean? Like, I got the J2 got me on a little snatch but you know they can't shoot and we out on the break again i'm lobbing another one up bro it's easy lob city out here bro it's lob neighborhood out here we ain't, we ain't quite a city but you know what i mean you get the point we up 15 to 4 bro like like somebody come get they mans like get them off this court man the street lights is on man go home and i'm taking all the cookies you know what I mean? Oatmeal raisin to be exact. And we out here, I mean, we couldn't capitalize on that, but... You know, like, the park, man, it's a really, really fun game, man. Like, if you out here for real with some teammates, man, you can get on the park and run forever. You know, you'll never lose, as long as you got a squad. Because nobody on here knows how to play ball. Everybody just mindlessly running around trying to shoot. You know, and park is, like, so easy, man, like... It's so much space because there's only three on three. Just spread out, run a pick and roll or something, and, and run to the hoop. And if they crash on that, hop out, shoot the jumper, man, because jumpers are so easy. I'm out here just taking cookies. You can't just sit there and dribble with me, man. Like, I'm, I'm going to steal it. I'm going to lob it up, and we're going to win 22 to 6. It's that simple. And then you're looking crazy like, why can't we beat these dudes? It's because y'all suck. You know, simple as that. You're trash, bro. And, you know, it just is what it is. But this second game, they actually came back and made it a little bit of a game. This game was a little more stressful, bro. Like, 13 to 8, we up, you know, but they made it a really close game at the end and had us sweating for a second, you know what I mean? But we did come out with the win eventually. But, um, yeah, man, I know Patch came out and they were talking about how they were fixing all the issues with the servers or not being able to get into the Jordan wreck and stuff like that. But I still got blue screen. You know what I mean? Like, it still happened post-patch. I was still getting blue screens and stuff like that. Only thing that I know they patched for sure was that VC glitch that you could do where you could hop in there and sign a player to uh, a team that was going to give you zero minutes and then just play through the games and then not have to go into the game. And still make like 850 VC a game. Like, you know, they patched that, but you could still kind of do it. You just got to play a minute now. But besides that, I haven't really noticed any difference because I still have trouble getting in the games in the rec center. I'm still getting blue screen, you know. So I think, I mean, the, the patch was a gig, you know what I mean? So I really wonder what was really going on under the hood with that new patch. But ain't no telling, you know, 2K, like, 
sometimes they're going to give you all the patch notes sometimes they ain't going to give you that many patch notes i don't know but you know it's 12 to 16 and this game's starting to get a little bit sweaty you know what i mean it's time for us to lock in a little bit you know what i mean my boy similar brings the ball up and you know he gets to the cup a little scoop and score and one you know make it 18 14 you know it's 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 tight out here you know we need another defensive stop and um i don't think we get it on this possession i think they do get to the cup for a jam to make it 16 14 but one thing i really don't like about jordan wreck and the part is the amount of i mean the steel spam like me i'm a spam steal in the park because i'm 510 and a lot of people try to put me in the post so i'm a spam steal that like i can't foul out so like i'm a spam steal and stop play or either get a steal if you try to put me in the post because i'm five foot ten bro like it's an easy automatic bucket but in the jordan wreck i really hate that because like it slows the game up man like you trying to like come down and, and do this and do that and like you can't because people are constantly spamming the steal button you know what i mean and especially when you're playing with randoms they be like getting on you like oh man pass the ball like i'm trying bro i'm stuck in the animation they're stealing the ball from me bro like what do you want me to do you know what i'm saying and it's just crazy bro like the amount of steal spam in jordan wreck man like it's wild but you know the game on the line snatch snatching some ankles for the game winner y'all go home man you know what i mean good night have a nice day we win 23 18 if y'all ever trying to catch some lobs from me on the park hit me up man q houston's the psn but until next time man i'll holler at y'all boys